Are you ready for another PS5 unboxing? I know you guys are sick of them, so am I, but we're gonna unbox this PS5. What's up, buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy. On this channel, we do a whole bunch of tech and audio reviews. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. And to all my subscribers now, as always, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And normally we have the links for the products down in the description below, but everyone knows the situation with these bad boys. Um, they're hard to find right now, so there will be no link. And if you're new to the channel, I'm never, I'm normally at my setup. If you go see my other videos, I just had surgery. Um, so, and my PS5 came at the same time. So I told all my subscribers, I wasn't going to open it up without them. So I really want to play this thing while I'm laying in bed. So that's why we're unboxing it right now so I can play it. All right, buds, let's get to this unboxing. I'm excited. I didn't think I was going to get one after the mess up I had um, when I kind of got hers and I didn't get mine. It was a horrible mess up. Um, we might skip through this video at some parts because I, I can't unreach and move too much to pull the stuff out. So Iconic will have to help me. And this will be one of them. But the first thing that comes out when you open these boxes, I'm pretty sure you guys seen, is all the accessories and whatnot. So you have your... Uh, little step-by-step -step books and your your uh safety books you have your par uh, power cable as always let's see here you have the stand the infamous playstation 5 stand uh, let me pull it out for you almost forgot to show you guys kind of unboxing is this huh so you got your stand right here and it does move. So right now it's for, you know, laying it flat, but then you can move it. Where is it at? Oh, 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 but you can't move it. So you can do a vertical right there. So that's how you would do that. So on the back of these, they have a screw so you can screw in the bottom of this and into the PlayStation. So you'll pull like a little, there's like a little tab you'll pull off of the PlayStation when you put it on here and then you just pull, grab that screw and then twist it in here with like a coin and then it'll keep it in place on the stand. You also have your HDMI cable. Um, the HDMI cable is not, it seems like it's not that long. Uh, it's probably a six footer if I'm looking at it right. But it should be HDMI uh, 2.0 from what I was seeing, uh, hearing, even though it's not on there. So uh, definitely look that up for when you guys go look for TVs for the PS5. Now we got the controller that we've already did because I got a controller before I got this one. So this is the second one. Um, so I already know how it feels kind of. And then the Iconic had hers as well. She got her system already. So I do know what that feels like. And one thing I noticed is that um, the triggers on certain games, they get really tight. So for me, I was playing Call of Duty on Iconic system and the triggers were like really tight. And I, I personally didn't like it. So I didn't like the feature they added with there, but there was games on there that were amazing with it. And I, you can rumble when you shoot on Call of Duty. Um, it rumbles just that trigger. It was pretty amazing, it was pretty cool. But uh, for me, I didn't like how tight the buttons were. But uh, like I said, there's other games like, you know, everyone, Astro's Playroom, uh, all the different features in here. There's, it vibrates in every part of this controller. It's really cool. Um, it's a great feature, I like that. Thank you, Iconic. So now <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna lift it up here. This thing is heavy. I always forget how heavy this is. So I kind of already did her unboxing. So I know how heavy it is, but this thing, it gets you every time you gotta pick it up. As long as I'm not straining, I'm fine. Alrighty. All right, buds. So there it goes. This is the probably the hundredth, hundredth time you've seen a PS5 unboxing. So there it is. It is really heavy. Right when you pick it out of the box, when you guys get yours, or if you already have it, um, you're going to be like, man, this thing is ridiculous. You can work out with this. Get a little mini workout. So there goes the side. You got the PlayStation symbol right there. All right. So you got the front gloss right here. It's looking really nice and glossy. A lot of people are going to have problems with fingerprints. That's for sure. I normally put my system wherever I'm putting it and don't touch it because I buy everything digital anyway. So it probably won't be a problem for me. Um, let's look at the back ports. So this is the back. You got your little back ports. You got the fan. The fan is huge, as you guys can see. And these are all your back ports. You get two, HDM, two USB cables. You got your HDMI cable. And then you have your power cable. 
let's see here. Oh, you also got your ethernet. And as you can see, Buzz, there is no optical no optical cable for like headphones like me. I use Astros, I use the A50s, which are wireless headphones. And without the optical, those don't work on the PS5. So what you're gonna have to do is get a HDMI converter. And I got one already. I bought them before me and Iconics uh, Systems got here. So what you're gonna have to do is get one of these and uh, basically, and get a short HDMI as well. You're probably gonna need a, cause you're gonna need two HDMIs for this to work, which is really annoying. But this is what Astro was selling, basically the same thing, but we got this for 20 bucks. So you're gonna be saving money by just buying this. And we already tested it on Iconic system and it worked. So definitely you wanna get this and it's HDMI 2.0 as well. And I'll put the link down in the description for this. So yeah, once again, you got, your, you got um, two ports in the back, which is good. For, you know you're charging um uh decks or any of that that you guys have or you can hide the wires to charge your controller um the ps5 charging deck it's a wall one um you could probably plug it into here but it's really nice that it's a wall uh charging deck so you don't have to, you don't have to use a usb port for it i am really disappointed it doesn't have an optical cable because a lot of people use headsets nowadays like a lot it wasn't really the fad a couple years ago in the middle of the PS4 life, but at, towards the end of it, everyone start getting headsets. Uh, I know a lot of people use the ones you can plug into your controller, but a lot of people get the high-end ones that use optical. So it's kind of sad that it doesn't have it. Now you have to waste two HDMIs just to plug your you know, optical in here, but oh well. It's, it, it's really humongous. <laughs> um, this is actually my first time really just holding it and just looking at it myself because I really didn't mess around with Iconics other than pick it up. But just staring at it and looking at it, I really like the design a lot though. Uh, me and my sister were saying it looks like something off of freaking Fast and Furious in Tokyo where they're gonna jump out of this PS5 into another hotel. It kind of has that design, something a building in Dubai or something. So I really do like that. And it does look like a router. Uh, like Iconic said, Whoever has a router that looks like this has a really nice router. Um, I like it a lot. This is definitely the biggest flex of 2020 right now. You walk into someone's house and they got the PS5. It's just like, yeah, that's the, you know, that's the PS5 looking really nice. That's smudged already. Sheesh. And in the inside, they have the X, the sacred symbols all in the inside. So they got the PlayStation sacred symbols in there, which I'll do a close up for you. Um, so you guys can see it, but that's a really nice feature, you know, just putting those uh, sacred symbols all inside the PlayStation. Uh, the plates do look like they will come off sooner or later, like you'll be able to adjust them and get whatever you want. I can't wait for that. You know, I'm definitely going to try to get some Atachi Akatsuki one. Hopefully we can do that soon, but yeah. All right, bud. so there you have it. That's my PS5 unboxing. I'm pretty sure you've seen a whole bunch of them by now, but I wanted to stay true to my word that I was going to unbox my PS5 with you guys and i really want to play it so i was like let's just do the unboxing right now and it just so happened to come on my surgery day so i was like forget it i still got the hospital drugs in my system so it doesn't hurt yet so i was like let's do this video real quick so i hope you guys like this unboxing i see you guys in the next one it'll probably be i don't know actually but whenever it is i see you guys in that video everyone be safe out there peace oh i'm so happy this bad boy is here finally Oh, can you help me?